This morning's Coffee With is with Nick Robinson and Alexandra Schiff. Satellite interviews furnished by 20th Century Fox. A couple fired up actors join us right now. We've got some good energy. Nick yeah. Alexandra, <laughs> is it normally the good energy or is it the caffeine in those the paper coffee. cups they gave you? I'm, I'm amazed all the time. A lot show of them, coffee. A lot of coffee. Show them, show them your coffee. A lot of coffee. Show them your coffee paper cups. I, I've, I'm always amazed. What's up, Baltimore? They're so small. I'm, not only, yeah, they are. They pack a good punch, though. Okay. I get it. They're but, strong. But they're your really movie stars, come on, you're, you're, you're going to be in, in the teen romance uh, summertime hit. Mm -hmm. Don't you think they could just give you like a, a nice Tervis cup with the name of the movie on it or a nice coffee oh, cup mm -hmm. instead of you know man we're we're super low maintenance yeah. guys we're we the most low yeah, yeah just like give that. us a paper cup with some caffeine in it and we're ready to talk about <laughs> love simon yes let's talk about this movie you're gonna laugh you're gonna cry it's a really good coming of age teen film it is yeah, yeah. uh this film is a that's the point i think that is that it's a coming of age film it's very broad you'll laugh you'll cry it's something that you've kind of seen is? before but this time it is told from the perspective of a closeted gay teen in high school so it's just like you. it's a uh, it's a different perspective something you haven't seen before and it's a story that i think is resonating with people super I hope malleable it is. yeah it's he's a very malleable character simon mm -hmm. and i think the audiences feel that yeah and he doesn't know who he's chatting with online. He's, right. There's an online relationship. Falling in love. So he yeah. has no idea. And Alexander, I'm assuming that's you. I, I wish. <laughs> really? I mean, uh, look at him. <laughs> it's not uh, you. It's like the no, big secret. So it's, right. it's the big secret <laughs> of the It's the big film. secret of who, who is, who done it, you know? Who is this guy he's been chatting with? Yeah, there's a, some mystery in there. Uh, it's a romance. A, he, he meets another classmate online, and they start a correspondence, and they eventually fall in love, and it's sort of a, it's a mystery, and it's a drama, and it's a comedy, and it's, it's just everything. It's all the, it's all the genres uh, mixed into one. Yeah. Kind of like an onion. There's a lot of layers to this film. Yeah. But you know what? Movie I, pizza. I got to be honest with you. I assumed that this closeted gay young man was falling in love with someone who turns out to be like his best friend or someone. A, a, no, a young lady. Oh. And does it oh, go like a catfish? No, 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 not catfishing at all. But what I'm saying okay. is, you now you found out someone's real identity. Did you fall in love with their with them or you follow what I'm saying? I even just said to Lynn, I said they're going to end up being BFFs forever. Right. Not sure I totally follow Marty, but uh, I think I hear no. what you're saying. There was, a movie, the there, was, there was a movie out, and I'm struggling for the name of it right now, where a guy fell in love with a woman only to find out it was found find out he was a, a transgendered man. Did it matter that this now turns out to be a man, or did he fall in love with the heart and the mind? Okay. And I'm sure it was a fourth word. It was a huge movie. Do you follow what I I'm think, saying? Uh, so a lot of layers. I, I, yeah, I follow what you're saying. I'm trying to think of the movie, but I haven't, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen, seen, seen this that movie. movie. It was a British yeah. movie. Um, I will say the that crying the game. email the crying correspondence game. that they have. The Crying Game. Oh, I'm not. Check it out. Oh, I'm going to check it uh, out. Crying Game. Yeah, cool. I'm pretty sure I, that was gonna, it. In in love, Simon. He, I, I, I see what you're saying. He falls in love with this with this other person, mm -hmm. not only because they're corresponding and they have emails, but also mm -hmm. because they're they're both struggling with coming out. So they have a bit of relatability to each other and are able to talk about this huge secret that they have um, and relate to each other and then fall in love through that. So though it is kind of on the same line, sure. um, the reality is is that is that Simon is just trying to figure out how to be his best self and most vibrant self, and so is the person that he's is chatting with and right. in that is where they fall in love our time has run short congratulations on a project that you can really you know get your arms around mm -hmm. congratulations on the early reviews and i hope it is one of the great feel-good movies of the summer thank, thank you. you marty i appreciate it movie thanks, comes out lynn. march 16th thanks march 16th. lynn appreciate it thanks uh, guys thanks so much for Nick, being with Alexander. us all right love, love simon. simon cool yeah